He's a magic man. He's a magic man. <laughs> Quite dooming. Dooming? Is that a, an attempted segue to doom? Yeah, that's right. It's a secret, but now you guys know. It's gonna be on the channel, uh, probably never. <laughs> it's a secret to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be on the channel when it's on sale on Steam, and I decide that I have to have it. It'll be on channel when I give a shit. Yeah, I could like uh, go and buy it, but is it really gonna make that much of a difference? I don't think so. I could borrow it, but I don't want to. I want it either. Oh my god, I, I hate. I mean, go to pirate websites. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I didn't say yeah. that. Uh, who, who said that? Honestly, that's what I thought about doing for Fallout 4, and then I decided I didn't even really want to do Fallout 4. <laughs> that's what I did with Fallout 4, actually. I just torrented it and checked it out, and... Uh, well, I was surprised that it wasn't as bad as Fallout 3. But once again, the same issue ar arose as with any other Bethesda game. It's just fucking boring. Yeah. There aren't many good Fallout Bethesda games. And by many, I mean any. <laughs> well, maybe the first two are alright. Those were by, like, Interplay, weren't they? I think they were, actually, yeah. Which probably. In Interplay and Obsidian. Which is probably why they were good in the first place. Yeah. I don't know what's it's... wrong with Bethesda, but it seems like they make games that aren't bad, but aren't good either. It's pretty middling, all things considered. I don't really get sucked in like some people. Some kids love Bethesda. They're like, oh, it's the best. And then it's like, well. Like, I think the best example look... of this would be Oblivion. Everyone I speak with about it, they always say, oh, I spent so many hours on it. But then I dig deeper, it's either mods or side quests. <laughs> yeah. But it's never the stuff that's right. supposed to keep you in the game, like the main story. <laughs> and I of course fuck a story. I of course started my You're... playthrough with the main quest to see how did that hold up after all the years. And holy shit, is it a mess? <laughs> most of the time it you doesn't. most of the time you spend in dungeons just crawling around killing things, or f or yep. fetching items for. That lazy cunt from Quetch. What was his name she again? Martin, I think. I, I, I don't, don't know. I, don't I, I have a good time with Oblivion, but that's, yeah, mostly because I'm role-playing it and uh, doing my own thing, not what the game tells me to do. Well, that's just the thing. Most of the people end up doing the same <laughs> thing. They make up their own rules, they do their own thing. Or at the very yeah. least, they just go for side quests and mods. I don't really like <laughs> doing that. I, I have the game, I want to play what the game has to offer. Because else, what the fuck is the point? I might as well just make my own game. If I want something different. You should. I tried, but I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway. I swear, I hear so many people talking about, Oh, if I had my own team, I could make this game. And it's like... You know, game ideas are like a dime a dozen, don't you? Nobody cares. It's easy to come up with an idea. It's hard to make it real. Yeah. Everybody's got ideas, brah. I have ideas how to make my my kebabs the best in the entire universe, but that doesn't mean that it will happen. It will if... Oh my god. <laughs> and that's what happens it when will you step you, uh, into the your auto shooters. It. This game got really hard all of a sudden. It used to be just bats and bugs, and I could go chop them up fucking easy, but now they're, uh... But now it's suddenly Tomb Raider. <laughs> what the fuck happened? It's like the game got progressively difficult. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Luckily for you, the skeletons can also trigger the same trap. They're not very bright about it. Fucking boneheads. I don't even know what happened. Uh, when you when you walk Bonehead. past that area, there are some um, holes in the wall. They line up with the arrow shooters, so try to walk around the middle so you would have the most time to dodge them. 
if the, if you try to uh, go oh. by the by the side of the walls, you will get shot pretty fucking fast. <laughs> well, I guess that's a good thing to know. Duly noted. It's like some oh, sort fuck. of a strategy guide. <laughs> well, you've played this game before. Oh god, please, shit. Oh, you'll be fine. I pray, I pray to the Lord. Um, I only pray to one Odin. God, Jesus Christus, who was melted for our chins. <laughs> Bless him. Bless him and oh, his God, uh, God of goodness. <laughs> I like Havarti. I like cheese. <laughs> Havarti <laughs> is a superior cheese. I don't fucking know the types of cheese, I just like cheese. I eat cheese because it's cheese. Cheese and great strings and tiny wheels. Oh god. Fuck. I just buy a block of cheese and fuck who cares what it is. As long as it's cheese and it melts and then it's hot. I don't wanna go over there. We need to attack the statue for maximum damage. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> How do I die so quick? Because you're the rogue. Plus the statue is dead. Well, there's uh, at least a little treat. Your effort was not in vain. Not entirely, <laughs> at least. Yeah, kind of feels like it, but... Whatever! It feels like I actually did something. Dead statue, dead! I wish I was doing more damage. But for that, I need to find the, the damage guy. Yeah, we didn't find that guy that was, like, leveled up or whatever. Oh god, bomb. He just ran into that. I know. I'm not, uh, an expert. Oh god. Don't do it. Come back. Run away. Here's a good question. Got any... siblings? Um... Well, I, I mean, like, have many. like, sisters and brothers. Yeah, I got, uh, two younger brothers and two younger sisters. Holy shit, that's like a farm. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of people. It is. I'm quite proud of them. They're all like, I'm gonna go to college and do stuff with my life. And I'm like, okay, I'll be here playing video games. <laughs> have fun. That, that sounds uncannily uh. familiar. <laughs> but I can't quite tell where I heard that before. I, I only have one sister myself, about three years older than me. Oh, you're a youngster. Yeah. Youngster! Oh, fuck. <laughs> She's going to fucking UK, I'm here in Denmark, parents back home in Lithuania. Everyone's fucking scattered all over the place. Yeah, we're kind of the same way. One of my brothers is school in Nebraska, one's in uh, Arizona. I live in Southern California, other sister lives in Northern California. Oh god. Get away! Get away! Funny enough, both of our intentions for going to other countries was to get an education, but so far we have made zero progress towards that. <laughs> well, sometimes that's how it be. Sister decided to find a job first. Took a while, but once she did, she didn't have the time to go studying. Me, I started from the other end. I started studying, but found that I need a job. Or else I, <laughs> I starve. And starving is something that I don't really like doing. Nobody likes that. No. I mean, I don't mind it as much, just because I don't have food in my house that often. Alright. Boop, 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 boop. And back, and forward. I need more mana, holy shit. I hate those statues, they're so hard to kill. Yeah, this is quite foul. Later on they'll be much easier to destroy, but right now they're very annoying. Especially with more enemies around to keep us busy. Mm. You might want that apple. 
God damn it. Well, I guess I'll uh, want that apple then. Take a hit. Eat the apple. Oh, there's three more. Here we go. Oh my god. Fuck. Well, that's not a long walk. That priest got turned into a mess. Uh, that's just my teleportation act. <laughs> I call it the it's Dark Souls. Convincing. <laughs> you have to go back and get your soul, and then if you don't find it, you lose all your experience. I always found that to be the most annoying part about Dark Souls. Yeah, that's why I never got into it. I was like, um, okay. I'm sure, it's original, but it's probably the most annoying part about the originality too, because your money is your experience as well. Yeah. And you can drop all of it. <laughs> if you uh, get in the wrong place or some shit. Which makes me wonder, how exactly are you holding things like souls or blood echoes in the first place? In, in the case of your Bloodborne. Mystical, your mystical demon. But where would you hold these kind of things? Do you have a wallet for souls or something? Uh, it's called your butt. That's not a wallet, that's a nature's pocket. <laughs> that's right, that's where you keep it. No, that's where you keep things that you want to smuggle out uh, of prison or into prison. Like balloons of heroin. Or bazooka. <laughs> bazooka Joe. Hey, that, that's... Everybody that, in prison likes Bazooka that's Joe. That's what somebody did in GTA V, apparently. At least that's what Smuggled I heard Smuggled a bazooka somewhere. in their ass? Well, the, the news anchor in that game did mention something about smuggling bazookas and other explosives. I don't think I want to. Uh, well... I don't think it's right. Some people could probably do it just fine. Although they would look very <laughs> fucking weird, I imagine. You gotta have a lot of practice. Oh god, this is not good. Goodbye. Uh, they got a... Oh, they got Mr. Bones with them. Uh. I think they're better off cleaning out Mr. Bones' uh, friends before dealing with Mr. Bones. Ow, ow, ow! Fucking shit! <laughs> if there's one thing Mr. Bones of, uh... knows how to do, is uh, his uh, novel move. The ride that never ends. Whirlwinds! Huh. Then I run over here. Huh. What a nice fucking day for an exorcism. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's stuck. What? He is! What the fuck? Wonderful! We got a damage boost. Yes, I need. Oh, give money. Money. I like money. If only we could find a fucking vendor to spend it at. That would be great. <sighs> oh my god. I think my main complaint about Hammerwatch is its size. The maps are pretty big. However, they're not it's, so uh, bad, bad when you're playing with other people. That's true. It still seems like a, a bit much for my liking, but... I can't remember the name of this other game, but it's pretty similar to uh, Hammerwatch. Except one thing, it does not have multiplayer because the dev is lazy. Uh, I mean, uh, he, he has no idea how to make it work. Yes. Well, that's a good opportunity to learn, isn't it? Yeah, and uh, also, it, the maps are like three times the size of this. Like, take the biggest map of Hammerwatch, and then multiply it by about two or three times, you got that game's maps. Ugh. And for one person to deal with, it's fucking obnoxious. Well, it does have multiplayer, but the problem is, it's local. Yeah, that's lazy. In this day, local-only multiplayer is just bullshit. Yeah. You need to... Uh, if you want your game to be, like, awesome and really taken seriously, it has to have some, some online actions. Which is why whenever I see the poor developers show up on 
the let's play side or some other place and be like would you <laughs> like to check out my, my local multiplayer game i'm like no <laughs> no <laughs> i tell him the same thing i'll make a post i'll say look this isn't uh this isn't how things are supposed to go in 2016 okay here's my problem oh God. we're not living in the age of fucking sega genesis anymore we have internet. Pretty much everyone's got it. It's about time yeah. to get with the times, Grandpa. <laughs> no, it can still be a good local multiplayer game. Um, sorry, but it doesn't have as much of a chance. If it's only local multiplayer, then yeah, you're not gonna have much of a chance. However, if it's local and online, I don't see the problem in that at all. Yeah, I agree with that, but mostly what I see is like, this is local only, and it's like, well, why would you do that? <laughs> well, if you're gonna do multiplayer, why only stop at local multiplayer? Grab the apple, by the way. Because they lazy, dog. It just makes no goddamn sense. It's, it, it's probably the laziest thing to program in as well, because you're basically just adding another port for the single player thing. Well, if you know how to do it, you could. You should help him out. I don't. Because I'm sick of I'm, seeing I'm this shit. I'm just making an, an educated guess, because I did try to learn programming. So I, I kind of have an idea of how this might work. It seems complicated to me because of, like, latency issues and all that shit. But, like, something like Hammerwatch, really, really simple. You know what I mean? The latency doesn't even matter that much. It truly really depends on what kind of a connection system they're using. If they want to do something like peer-to-peer, -peer, like GTA Online likes to do, then uh, no fucking wonder you don't want to do online multiplayer, because peer-to-peer is, is bad. It's, it's not going to work very well for multiplayer, unless your connection is good or you're pretty close to each other. Which is something yeah. that... The, some of the emulators actually have they that have online capability. They use peer to peer. That's interesting. But I I think for the emulators it's more excusable because uh, you're less likely to be in a situation where you're gonna be playing anything <sighs> on the internet in the first place. Yeah. If you're gonna emulate old Sega Genesis games, for instance, chances are. You probably have another controller, or you just have somebody else to play with. You're not gonna go out of your way to do port forwarding and other nonsense. I might. I think it's very difficult to set it up for certain emulators like Kega Fusion. It just requires port forwarding and that's it. Oh my. That's a lot of things. White. I'm just gonna try and follow you. Uh, oh, I thought this was gonna open up. I just wanna pick up all the jewels. The coins can stay. They're not worth the effort. I do see a key though. I'm going down this way. Oh! Uh oh. I tried to cheat. He died? Yeah, I went diagonal. Just, uh... Oh, a vendor coin. No, oh, well, I kinda did shit. Shit. <laughs> oh, good. That enemy, uh, murked himself. Okay, ow. Ow. <laughs> I went diagonal, too. It's not the thing to do. Nope. Hmm. Down this way. Fucking Onto slime. the giant spike mat of doom what I do like about the priest is that his regular attack has a bit of an area of effect dealing with slimes makes it so much easier because I can yeah. just burst the big slime and then destroy the little ones with just one shot it seems to work pretty good 
I think the My, wizard uh, has the easiest time though because he shoots fireballs. <laughs> Yeah, my, my shit is just like an arc in front of me, which isn't really great, but it does. I think it deflects projectiles as well. Which is pretty important, especially, well, we're not fighting worms and shit anymore. I don't know if it deflects the arrows. Um, not that I'm aware of. I've never seen anything deflect arrows. Pretty foul. It probably is something, but if it is, I've never seen it. And if I haven't seen thing? it, it probably doesn't exist. Okay, run. Uh, uh. Ow. I've been stabbed. You've been struck by a smooth skeleton. <laughs> Most skeletons are smooth. Oh, hell it's, uh, slightly porous. Yay! I killed it! Well, speaking of, of weird references to Smooth Criminal, there is a very fun <laughs> game called Michael Jackson's Moonwalker for Sega Genesis. I recommend oh checking God. that out, too. I should give that a try. I, I have seen, like, reviews of it and stuff done. Looks pretty interesting. It's very fun because, uh, boss fights can be settled with dancing <laughs> and it's so much fun to do it especially when you dance with dogs and spiders <laughs> I don't dance with spiders dogs maybe I'll consider it so much fun oh my god speaking of games though What's your favorite game of all time? Of all time? Probably Super Mario World. Yeah, um, cheapskate. <laughs> That's what everyone I mean, says. I mean, it's good. It's the first game that I ever played. Like, I have Mario tattoos all over my body. I love Mario. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yep. <laughs> if I seen that happen in my life, I would have probably said, what the fuck? I get that a lot. They're like, oh, that's a dumb tattoo. And I'm like, whatever. Said some bitch working at a chicken joint. I don't give a fuck what you think about it. I like it. And that's the most important thing. Oh, that's a dumb tattoo you got there, says the guy who's completely covered in ink. <laughs> I don't think that girl had any tattoos that said that to me. But I did say that back to her. I was like... I don't give a fuck what some bitch working at a chicken joint thinks. And she was like, whoa! And I was like, yeah, fucking whore. She was like, you say what to me? <laughs> <laughs> I say your opinion doesn't matter. Somebody should have told you this earlier, fucker. You wanna say that to my face? I say whatever. I say whatever I want. You what do you know about Dayton does? Apparently not much. You wanna fit to me, bruh? Where are you going? I'm just checking the map. It's kind of difficult to see where you need to be, considering you cannot you cannot zoom out the map. I'm guessing we have to climb up somewhere. Can we go down mm. those stairs? I think we can. I think we did. Oh well, what do you know? We can, yes. Oh. And we have some well. bronze keys, so we can make use of them to get to other places. Isn't that a treat? Oh. Well, what guy? Well, ain't that a bitch? Health pool, mana pool, move speed. Move speed Damn. is always a good thing to get. Huh. Yeah. I found another staircase. I can staircase. actually get all of these. I got all I could get. I couldn't get the last uh, mana upgrade. But now I got plenty of mana. Yeah, I've got health pool tool and mana, mana pool too, so I should be a, a little better. A little bit better! Oh, hey. You're over here. I personally couldn't say, actually, what's my favorite of all time. Because that's a bit broad for me. I could say what's my favorite of a certain genre, though. No, you gotta say all time. I picked Super Mario World, I don't even play that shit. I did it for the channel one time, and that's like the last time I played it in many years. Oh, but that's just the thing, I can't really compare 
the favorites of different genres and decide which one is better than the rest of them. It just doesn't compute in my brain. Don't be uh, don't be coy. Don't be shy. But Just I, say some game sucks. I guess like, it, look, I hate Fallout. I guess if I had to make a choice, I'd go with Gothic 3. Gothic 3. Yes, despite the name suggesting it, it does not have anything to do with goths or gothic architecture. <laughs> you into vampires, are ya? It's actually just a simple RPG about orcs being cunts to humans. <laughs> Sounds about right. It's a lot of fun, but people often criticize it as being buggy. I just think they are playing it with the wrong patch. Because oh there are God. a bunch of community patches for it, but I think that if you want to play it the way it's supposed to be played, don't get the community patches. They ruin well, a lot of things. Yeah, I'm tired of uh, game developers that are just like, yeah, the community will fix it. We released a piece of shit, but the community will fix it. It's like, well, oh, no, it's not the, really the, the community, community's job. The community showed up a lot later, after the devs put out quite a few patches themselves. Well, yeah, because I guess it's an older game. But yeah. if you do that nowadays, it's it's perfectly acceptable. Bethesda does it constantly. The thing is, the community of Gothic 3 has decided that they need to fix the game. And while there are very few things that could have been fixed, they decided to fix things that also didn't need to be fixed. Like, uh, like making certain animals non-dangerous. Like wild boars, for instance. Boars are dangerous! Exactly! Normally... <laughs> Under normal circumstances, wild boars in Gothic 3 are pretty much as bad as meeting a fucking dragon. You will, <laughs> you will die if you're not careful. In fact, they can stun lock you if you're really not careful. I know, because so I died so many times to them. They nerfed the boars. But instead of bitching about it and looking for patches to fix it, I learned how to avoid them and survive them. I also yeah. learned how to do the... The superior of all jumping techniques, which allowed me not only to dodge every single attack, but also climb mountains. In a single bound. Well, not exactly a single one, but I can climb cliffs so steep, so sheer, that not even the best of Mount Everest climbers would believe it. I don't. Oh yeah, little health. Mm. How does My health pulls gigantic now. How does he do that? He just jumps into the cliff and he goes up. He's a magic man. He's a magic man. There's also a few other bugs, like sometimes a quest can bug out entirely and just get cancelled and you can't do anything about it. But I don't know, I'd never really encounter that many bugs that people always talk about. I haven't sat down with Gothic. Maybe one day I will. It's kind of funny, actually, because the most common bug that I hear about Gothic 3 is that in the first uh, section of the game, they fall over after getting hit and they can't get up. That's the bug that I got with the community patch. <laughs> so, they didn't patch it good enough. No, I don't think the community patch helps. In fact, I think it ruins everything, because Animals cannot kill you anymore, they just make you fall over, get stunned, just knock you out. What the fuck is the point? Like seriously, a T-Rex knocks me out. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, he doesn't want to eat you, he's just having a good time. Having a good time! My god. And people will so always insist dudes. that you have to get it to play the game as it's supposed to be. That's not true. That's what a lot of people say about fucking like... Yeah, Oblivion community patches and whatnot. I do understand where people same. come from with their complaints about the bugs. It's definitely not the most uh, bug-free of the games. But I like it for what it is. And I really grew fond Shit. of it. It's probably the best RPG I ever played. The best RPG. Yeah. That's quite a, a lofty title. 
Well, compared to things like Oblivion, it's definitely the best thing I ever played. And I do like it for some of the rather minuscule reasons, I guess. Like, probably the most important reason for me as to why I like it so much is because you can beat it in less than an hour. Hmm. The main quest is really short. I don't think really that's something short. that bodes well. Now, here's the thing, though. The main quest is only short if you know exactly what you need to do. Oh, yeah. And where to go. It's one of them. Yeah. If you know exactly what needs to be done for your specific ending of choice, it can take very little time. But even then, it's gonna be... Maybe a couple of hours at at most. Well, at least, I should say, actually. Because despite having very little to do at that point, there's still a lot of exploring to do because there is no fast travel as convenient as in Elder Scrolls games. Well, Morrowind didn't have fast travel. Which does bring me to another problem that I have with Bethesda games. Their fast travel system <sighs> blows. I fucking hate it. What's wrong it. with that? Well, here's Why? the thing. Somebody marks out a location for you on the map. But you cannot fast travel to it because you haven't been there yet. Which bothers the shit out of me because you know where it is. But you can't yeah, fast travel. Yeah, they just described it. it to you and stuff, so you should know where it is, but... It's not that they just described it to you. Most of the time they also say they marked it on the map. Like if they just describe it to you and not mark it on the map, sure, that makes sense. But if they put a little tick on the map and say, here, go here, why can I not fast travel? That's a, a fair point. It just makes no sense. Just because I haven't been there, I can't fast travel? Poor shit. Really, I fast travel like as little as possible in those games, just because that's the RPG way that I play, but... I do, I because the world is fucking huge and I'm too lazy to walk through it. Yeah. Funnily enough, however, Gothic 3 has no fast travel at all, and the world arguably might be even bigger than that of Oblivion. But I don't find it tiresome to go through that world r normally, just slowly, because it I really like going through the entire environment. It's, it's very nice looking, it's dangerous. Yeah. There's a lot to be done there. Get yourself some immersion. Yeah. And uh, the best part about it, you get to earn your fast travel by traveling regularly because they have teleporter stones. You just need to get to places which have them. Every hmm. city in the game has their own teleporter stone. You have to get to the city and find it in the city to be able to teleport it to it whenever you feel like it later on. But what if you just knew where the teleporter stone was? You can Wouldn't go that, there. that, like, break your immersion or something? No. Because most of the time, the stones are not exactly easily accessible. Most of them are in somebody's apartment, and people <sighs> don't take it too kindly to thieves. Most of the time, they only give you one chance before they attack. And then they do. It's not just one guy. It's the entire fucking <laughs> town. It's like the the Kukos from fucking Ocarina of Time. They or Link to the Past. They fucking or... hate thieves. Everybody does. Yeah, but... That's why I had to roll a thief. So I can take back their good name. But that's another thing that brings me back to Oblivion again. And I know, I, I love to bitch about it, but... Hear me out. <laughs> I mean, I do have an entire fucking playthrough about bitching in Oblivion, but... I I just think that Oblivion could have done so much more. Because oh, it, yeah. it does have a lot of potential, but it feels so half-assed most of the time. Hold on, I'll patch you up. Most of the time. <clears throat> I don't know, I th I think overall it's, it's pretty solid for like the time that it came out. It came out like a decade ago, so... Yeah, when it came out, surprised. it was pretty fun, I'll admit that. But as time went, it didn't age well at all. 
There are much better Compared RPGs to... nowadays. You may have a point. I think there are much better RPGs nowadays compared to Oblivion, and whenever you come back to Oblivion after playing them, you can't help it. You just see all the fucking problems that the game has. And even there the nostalgic goggles cannot help you anymore. Uh, my Oblivion roleplay thing has like a bunch of add-ons and stuff, so I guess it's like, helps my nostalgia goggles. I don't know, I'm having a lot of fun roleplaying through it. Well, but I understand that it's not for most tastes, especially if you're sticking strictly to the main storyline. Well, uh, I that's, think the, that's the open, where, expansive, that's where my expansive thing nature is uh, what makes it so, <laughs> so timeless. Sorry for constantly interrupting you, by the way. But uh, that's what brings me to my point. If you like the game, fine. I'm not gonna tell you to stop playing it. That's not my problem. You wouldn't listen anyways. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't listen to me anyway. If you like the game, more power to you. I'm just saying that I don't think the game is as good as you think it is. I didn't call it my favorite game of all time. I just said, hell yeah, it's good. I sit down, I play some RPG. Yeah, if I ever have a craving for RPG, I pop in that gothic free, because I love it. I'll have to give it a try. I'd recommend it, but uh, make sure to get the latest official patch before starting. Oh god. And if you have a 64-bit machine, you might want to look into unlocking more memory for the game oh yeah I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to do for it but the the regular executable file does not allow for more than a certain amount of gigs of RAM so you need to unlock more for it with uh, some sort of a third-party program yeah that's one of the mods that I have in my oblivion thing is a RAM extender because it only has like Two gigs or some shit. Yeah, and that's the thing you, you need. The RAM ah. extender. I had to do it for myself because uh, the game kept crashing every five minutes. Once I did that, it was as stable as uh, stable can describe. It was awesome. <laughs> of course, uh, minus that one time where the entire map forgot to load and I was literally in heaven. Hooray! It was funny, I'll give it that. But <laughs> but it was also the first time in years I saw a legitimate bug in the game. Whereas in Oblivion, for some reason I kept losing gravity. Every few minutes, no less. Uh, Have you ever lost gravity in Oblivion? I don't think so. It's a very weird bug, I don't know exactly what causes it, but uh, basically, I start floating and I lose control over my body. <laughs> and I just... That sounds like an awesome problem to have. Not really, because uh, I slowly, slowly slide to a side, usually to the left. <laughs> and the only way to fix it is by restarting the game. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I have a Nexus add-on program. Like, if I start Oblivion just straight from Steam, it'll fucking crash every time. I have to start it with that program. Just kind of weird, but whatever. Live and learn. I do have to say, I've noticed a very odd trend of Bethesda games starting in prisons. <laughs> <laughs> They don't know how else to do, they're just like, whatever. I can't be the only one who notices this, right? I mean, let, I mean let, let's think about it for a moment. Oblivion, where do you start the game? In prison. Waiting for execution. Uh, Skyrim. Not exactly in prison, but you might as well in be transport. in, because you are about yeah. to be executed. So one extra step was taken this time. Uh, dishonored. You don't start in prison, but a few minutes later you end up in prison. 
Uh, Fallout 3? I think it's because it's like a generic, uh... It's a generic way to start. Like, you can make up your own family and shit because they didn't spoon-feed that part to you. It's like a strong start for a role-playing game, although, yeah, it is a little fucking... It's overdone. hardly strong, I would say, because it never explains how you got into prison. So, for all you know, we put you in prison because you stole a sack of potatoes. Yep. That's the magic for me. It's like, you can make up your own story. Well, that just annoys me, though, because I want to know how I ended up here. If, yeah, if I'm going to start stories. the game, I want to know how exactly I started in that specific situation. Which is why yeah, once again- Yeah, if you're not role-playing, I understand it's it's pretty weak, but... That's why once again Gothic 3 just is the better game for me, because as I start the game, I can see from the intro cutscene why am I starting the game in the middle of a fight. It's not the most uh, clear intro explanation as to why I'm fighting, because it literally is just an or giving me the mean eye, <laughs> but... <laughs> At the very least, I can deduce that maybe I pissed the guy off, or maybe he has orders from the higher-ups to look out for me and try to nick my ass whenever he has a chance. I have at least some lead. In Oblivion, uh. what what happens? I just wake up in prison, some asshole is trash-talking me, and later on I ended up uh, going back to murder the shit out of him for the fucking guild. <laughs> but how did I end up there? Who knows? And I understand the idea here is so that you could make up your own backstory, but not everyone's gonna do that. Yeah. And I'm definitely not one of those people, because I don't have the imagination for that kind of shit. I'm too lazy to imagine most of the stuff for RPGs. That's, like, one of the main reasons that I play RPGs, it's just so I can, like, roleplay. I love the roleplay. Oh, Jesus. I guess I'm not that big on roleplay myself. I just like to play as the character that's given to me instead. Yeah, I could get that too. By the way, you can deflect arrows with the melee weapon. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's not easy to do, but it's possible. Well, you know what they say. It's not easy being cheesy. Who says that? Uh... Chester Cheetah. Yeah! <laughs> it was a test. It was a test, I already knew who said it. This was a test. You have passed. Congratulations. What if I told you that being easy is... Wait a minute, I fucked that up. Abort! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, there is no drummer better than Neil Peart! It ain't easy being cheesy. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.